Hi, I'm Dave from Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Want to learn how to make a delicious, flavorful taco soup? Today we'll show you how, only on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Fox Hollow fam. I'm Dave and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Well Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner here at Fox Hollow so we thought we would kick it up a notch with our very own taco soup. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito, taco, taco. It's made with ground beef, onions, green peppers, everything that you love. We're even going to make our very own taco seasoning to season it with. It's spicy and tasty and oh so good. So if you're ready then let's have some fun. All right the first thing we're going to do is make some taco seasoning. Um, so we're going to start with some chili powder. Okay. I'm going to do one tablespoon of chili powder or three teaspoons. Okay. Same thing. That's some nice chili powder. We'll use that. Okay. What's next on our list here? Uh, next we're going to use two teaspoons of cumin. Okay. I have a big one. You can see we use it a lot. Two teaspoons of cumin. Okay. One teaspoon of paprika. Okay. I believe we also use paprika quite a bit too. Yeah, we use it a little bit. One teaspoon of paprika. Okay. Okay. I have pre measured a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. We need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. My container is a little small here, so I'm going to do uh, two quarter teaspoons. Half a teaspoon of that. A half teaspoon of onion powder, same thing. That one you should be able to get in pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, okay. A half teaspoon of oregano. Okay. And uh, just a shake of crushed red pepper flakes. Totally optional, up to you if you want any spice in it. Okay. And that's it, we're just going to mix all this together we get our taco seasoning. Oh that looks really good. I like the color of that. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're going to set this aside and use it later. Alright the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up two different colors of bell peppers. Um, <clears throat> you can use green and red. I happen to have orange and red. So we're going to use that. Just give it some color. And we only need like half a pepper of each color. You can use just one green pepper, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, but we're going to cut them up. We're going to dice them up a little bit. These are nice, juicy peppers. They'll have a lot of flavor to them. I usually cut mine into strips first. into chunks. Okay, and we'll do a red one just like that. And then we're going to set our peppers aside and we'll use them in our soup. Next thing I'm going to dice up half of an onion. Uh, you can use a whole onion if it's if it's kind of small. This one's kind of big so we're going to use a whole half of it. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to go 
go ahead and peel it. Okay, then we're gonna put this aside and move on to our next step. Okay, the next thing I need is a cup and a half of diced tomatoes. Uh, I'm using fresh tomatoes, but um, you could use canned tomatoes if you wanted. Um, just a cup and a half of diced tomatoes. Since this is going in soup, it doesn't matter. You can use canned, uh, but I'm using fresh. <clears throat> All right, let's measure that right there. That is a little over a cup, so I think one more ought to do it. There, that's about a cup and a half of diced tomatoes and so we're going to get ready and start our soup okay so on our stove over medium heat i have some oil in a pan and we are going to start our soup we're going to put in a pound of ground beef now today i'm uh, actually using uh, venison because we had some left over from the winter so a pound of ground venison to that we're going to add our onions and our peppers that we cut up earlier and we are gonna saute this over medium heat until the meat is all browned. And we'll drain off any excess fat if there is any. Uh, one thing about venison, it's a very lean meat, so there may not be a lot of excess fat. Uh, so we're gonna just uh, saute this for a couple minutes here until it turns brown. I think we are good here. This is nice and brown. <clears throat> there really isn't any fat to drain off. Uh, you can use any kind of meat. We are using venison, but you can use chicken, ground turkey, ground pork, uh, whatever you happen to have with the price of beef these days. You know, you can go ahead and use any alternative that you can find. I'm going to throw in here, uh, now that this is brown, I'm going to throw in about two or three cloves of garlic minced up and two tablespoons of our taco seasoning that we made earlier. And we're going to whisk this around for another minute to get it completely coated and the garlic started to cook. All right, we are looking really good here uh, with our seasonings and our garlic added. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our tomatoes from earlier that we diced up. One can of kidney beans that's drained. I actually rinsed mine off a little bit a cup of corn. Uh, you can use frozen, canned, whatever, just uh, make sure you drain it if it's in a can. And two cups of beef broth. And that's it, we're gonna bring this to a boil real quick for our taco soup. Okay, now that this is boiling, uh, we are gonna cover it and let it simmer on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll taste it then. All right, that is it. I think we are good and our soup is ready. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, now for the best part, the taste test. I got a bowl of it here. Mm. Oh, that is spicy and tasty. You guys are gonna love it. Wrapping up today, I want to thank you all for joining us and encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. But before I go, always remember, good times and good food, only on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. We'll see you soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.